things are getting a little bit grim in The Sims 4 as well as real life because of the darker evenings, aka my most hated time of the year, even though I do always feel very, very seasonal and try to make the most out of it. But of course, the Reaper's Rewards event just kicked off. This is kind of like the daily login that we got like back in June now, I think it was, except this time around, not only do you have to load up your Sims 4, you actually have to hop into live mode to actually partake in this. So today I figured we would go through this first week of the quest together and then also at the end of the video I am going to talk about some issues that have definitely been seen in people's games. That is if I don't run into issues in my version before we get there. So we'll see. Now as you can see I already have the tasks up here. I did in fact get a pop-up like right at the beginning of a new save however I then since started another save with him and the pop-up didn't occur so I think once you've seen that pop-up once it just like goes away so try not to pause your game like as you get into either a new save or an existing save that you then want to use for this just because you don't want to risk any chance of this not appearing Psst. Hey, you. Over the centuries, my memory has started to grow foggy. I've heard rumblings about a special dish called ambrosia that could jeopardize my job. Complete the assistant to Grim Reaper and a call away quest to help me understand it. You can actually focus on both of these at the same time. So we have a call away and then also assistant to the Grim Reaper. You can open your Reaper's rewards. These are both of the missions that we have going on. So assistant to Grim Reaper is 175 points. A call away is 225 points. This is going on until the 19th of November, 2024, 6 p.m. like GMT British summertime. I'm fairly sure the clocks will go back before the end of this event, which is wild to think about, but it's actually technically eight weeks. It's just they've given us six weeks originally and then two extras in case you don't have enough time to play it in those six weeks. They want to give you a little bit of a buffer to catch up if you need to. We need to wait for the Ambrosia Society newsletter. It's coming. Wait for the mail to get delivered or you can expedite your mail from from the home app on your phone. If we go home, then we have expedite mail delivery for 103 simoleons. Also, we're living in this gorgeous Victorian house by the one and only Griffey. I will leave the information of this lot down in the description down below. He already wants to mourn the dead. I mean, I would if we had functional graveyards. Who knows? Maybe they will come with life and death. We need to buy the Grimophone, but you actually have to claim that as a reward before you buy it. So we do not have the event points to be able to buy that just yet. And then uh, we also have Ask the Spirits about Ambrosia. Select Ask the Spirits about Ambrosia on a seance table. Now I know you might be thinking, I don't have paranormal stuff. How the heck am I meant to do that? Fear not, you don't need to have any packs to complete this event. That actually won't show up for people who do not have paranormal stuff. It will either give you a different task or it just won't be there whatsoever. I know that's confusing. I actually quite like that they personalize these to the packs that you actually have installed. I think that kind of allows you to play with things that maybe you have played with in a while a little bit more. I like the customization, so I have it because I currently have paranormal stuff installed. If you don't have it, you will not see this. Fret not, if you only play with base game, this is still available to complete. You can still get all the reward points necessary for the rewards for this week. The mail definitely hasn't arrived just yet. Oh, Advic said, I heard you were talking shit. I heard you were doubting me. You've earned enough event points to claim a reward. Go to the event UI to claim it. Well, don't mind if I do. So I think that gave us 15 perhaps. So we are gonna claim this gardening book. Obviously gardening, cooking, 
cooking, gourmet cooking, and fishing are the things that you're probably gonna need to make ambrosia. And then uh, this gardening book actually arrived in our inventory. All of the small rewards that you see are consumables that are gonna help you as you're actually like taking part in this. All the taller, like bigger ones are the unlockables that will just be unlocked actually within your game. I don't really know how the freezer money work just yet, but everything else is pretty much like usable once you've unlocked it. I'm fairly sure across all saves, but we will double check that. So read the Ambrosia Society's newsletter. Now I have heard of people saying that this has disappeared for them. Fingers crossed I do not face that glitch, please sir. Dorian, go and grab it and then just read it ASAP and hopefully it will tick off and give us those 25 points. All right, he's got the letter. Let's read it. Oh, it has a little Grim Reaper next to it. Welcome to our latest series where we guide you through the process of cooking ambrosia. If you have your Snapdragon planted, then your next step is to work on your cooking and gardening skills. Best way to do this is to feed your garden and yourself. Well, I don't have a Snapdragon. Is it a claimable reward? So I think we're actually gonna have to purchase Snapdragon. But I don't think that is something that we can get from like flower. Hours. I think that's something that you actually have to go and find like out in the world yourself. Never mind, it is something that you can get from flowers. Oop, we earned enough event rewards to get both of these things. Okay, give me the Grim Reaper, a supremely skeletal freezer bony. I swear this used to be called the Grim Bunny instead of the Freezer Bunny. Now it's the Freezer Bony. It would be much more terrifying to stumble upon if these weren't so darn cute. And then we we also uh, claim the Grimophone, a supernatural sound system with a direct line to Grim himself, allowing his mortal acquaintances to summon him day or night. It can also play your favorite tunes if you're into that sort of thing. Well, he absolutely loves listening to like metal music and also classical music. Ooh, I forgot to actually pay attention to this one, but the little red notification did mean that we had completed one of these. And I'm fairly sure it was the planting thing. It's also asking me to plant a lily, which I also had from our flowers. He actually dislikes gardening. He actually just dislikes being outside. It's out of season. Oh, I hate seasons sometimes. Instead then, we are going to hopefully place this inside. The welcome wagon is actually gonna come in so handy because we need to ask three sims about ambrosia. He really doesn't look happy that the welcome wagon is here. He's like, leave me to my peace and quiet. I fear I kind of based him off nervous subject. I feel like he looks a little bit like nervous subject. He has like very much Sims 2 Sim energy. Ambrosia, I'm not sure how to make it, but I would love to learn and bring a ghost back to life. Every single one of the interactions has this little like grim next to it. I have also heard people warning you, don't like try to ask about Ambrosia until you actually have this quest just because it can mess up a little bit, I think. Make sure you know how to fish. You'll need it if you want to make ambrosia. Not sure how to make it. Okay, so not the most varied answers in the world. Let's be real. Research ambrosia on your phone, a tablet, or a computer. Well, thankfully, I have a computer, so let's go do that. We definitely need to work on our cooking. I'm fairly sure it's gourmet cooking that leads to ambrosia. I might have got that wrong it might just be regular home style cooking, like level 10 that gets you to ambrosia. But either way, we really need to start working on it because currently he has zero. <gasps> Not the little grim cooking around a boiling pot. That's so cute. Oh my word. That's one of the cutest little thought bubbles I've seen. We should probably go welcome again. I like how the only time I spoke to them was actually to ask them about ambrosia. It is a gourmet dish. I knew it. My Sims knowledge. They can bring a loved one back to life. It's difficult to make and requires three rare ingredients. If you want to learn more, be sure to read the Society newsletter. 
better. And we have once again earned enough points to claim our cooking skill book. So definitely get on that. I honestly think that he would prefer to read rather than just like cook. But as you can see, this little notification means that we've ticked one of the things off. It unfortunately doesn't like play the animation to show you which you have ticked off, but obviously it was the researching ambrosia. The only one that we have left in the assistance of the Grim Reaper is actually to research a plan. He went on the bookcase. Oh, that's kind of cute, but we're gonna put him up there. I don't know how many of these there are, but I am now wondering, is it its own little collection? <gasps> Why did I not decide to do this in my flipping all collection challenge? Can you partake in this in multiple saves? Maybe I should test that. I'm really struggling in my all collection challenge to get like the positivity poster because I didn't partake in that event, obviously with the save file because I only started it like last year. And the positivity poster with Millie Bobby Brown was absolutely ages ago. And also I'm having issue with sugar schools as well because the day of the dead celebrant just like doesn't appear for me anymore no matter how many times I try to leave an offering I'm fairly sure it's just like glitched out so I really need to do this in my all collection challenge so that we have the freezer bonies I know obviously the annoying thing as well is also missing out on actually like some items that you might want as a player but you can never have because you only start playing the sims 4 in maybe like two years and then you're like oh I really would like the grim phone that gives me a direct line to Grimm and it's like sorry you can't do that because you didn't participate in this event that happened two years ago so therefore you missed out on that item and you can never get it back but also it's annoying that it like affects like challenges and you completing all of the collections within the game as well oh we can't research a plant yet because we're not high enough in the gardening skill I kind of want to avoid doing the like asking the spirits about ambrosia just to see if I can can complete this without doing it even though I have that pack. Now for a bookworm it's taking him a very long time to read this skill book and get up to a level three but I did want to wait until he was a level three to actually have him cook his dinner just so that could be another task that we've done. Hopefully we won't be meeting the Grim Reaper from cooking. Please don't set a fire. Do you reckon that's probably why they were like be a level three? That would be such bad luck if your sim actually died in a fire instead of like buying the gramophone and then like talking to Grim that way. It's just like, congratulations, you died. You too have a direct line to Grim. I wanna whip that cooking book back out. I wish that you could tag like books, especially like skill books just to like stay in your inventory so they didn't always put them away. Summon the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper looks fairly friendly. Select the Grim Reaper and select an introduction or any social. Unfortunately, he literally spawns like outside your lot but it does look like he's coming to talk to us straight away I mean what else does he have to do there's no one for him to reap here so he's like let me just introduce myself why are they talking about the trash are we gonna be helping you take out the trash damn we have to do it it really said okay get these 100 points bestie you're absolutely gonna need them he said I don't need sleep actually the sleep deprivation helps me to get in touch with my grim reaper side. By the way, little hack, researching actually helps you work on your gardening skill. If I'm really, really struggling to get with my gardening skill, I will do that. <gasps> Great, you've scratched the surface about ambrosia, but this is just the beginning. I need more details. Keep nurturing your garden. So we completed assistant to the Grim Reaper, which actually allowed us to get everything. So you don't even need to do the ask spirits about ambrosia. I did everything but that and I was able to claim all of the rewards I'm fairly sure that are available for this week. But we will claim the earrings of imminent demise. Whilst wearing these earrings you can always feel the cold hand of Grim Reaper tugging at your soul. No thank you. I already overthink everything. I don't need to think of that. We got the energized potion and then the scare 
Air Seeker Lot Challenge. Lots with this challenge fill Sims with eldritch excitement and attract other Sims looking for a ghoulishly good time. Well, of course, I'm gonna flip in add that to my lot straight away. I don't really understand why this is known as like a lot challenge instead of a lot trait. There's something in the air here that fills you with eldritch excitement and attracts Sims looking for a ghoulishly good time. Is it gonna potentially attract like a bunch of ghosts? Is it gonna be like the haunted lot trait? Cause if so, I'm kind of here for it. Not the Grim Reaper spawning on my lot and being like, raw, where's my backy? I still do wanna now do this. Now that I know I've basically completed it, I just wanna double check that those are all of the rewards for the first week. Maybe that extra like emotion potion is part of it. And let's go ask those spirits about Ambrosia. Speak with the dearly departed. Maybe they'll offer some wisdom. With that gramophone, you can summon me whenever you need. Just don't do it too often. Traveling to this realm can be exhausting, not as tiring out Grim. He said, why did I ask this sim in particular to get all up in my business? I'm already sick of them. Keep on working on your cooking and gardening skills. Fishing hasn't even made its way into it yet. Like apart from the sim being like, hey, make sure you're working on your fishing skill. You're gonna need it. It really hasn't told us to like work on our fishing just yet. Ambrosia, will you share? This is sure to help you in your quest. Start growing your garden. Plant a snapdragon, apple tree, and cherry tree. I thought that they were giving us those items, but they were just like, make sure you get those. So we need an apple and a cherry tree and we've earned enough points. Okay, so this reward is actually claimable. And then this is where week two begins. Even when you finish it for the week, this little grim just like stays in the top corner, which is annoying if you're one recording videos or streaming or two, you just don't wanna see him constantly. I am gonna go in the game options and see if you can actually remove it, but I don't think you'll be able to. No uh, options to turn that off. So he does just hang around like a bad smell, but let's quickly exit to main menu. I am gonna save my game and I wanna see if those bigger rewards are available to purchase in other saves. Hmm, so I loaded into uh, my collection save and you're not able to do this in different saves which I really, really hope that the freezer bunnies are just available to buy so that our collection can actually complete because I'm gonna be so sad if I've missed out on this collection. Let me type in bony, minus 75 simoleon. So he is available in another save. If I go grimophone, this is also available in this save file. Obviously there was a lot of issues with the last login reward and rewards going missing. It happened on Xbox. It's also been happening to some PC players because they were actually tied to your game files. They were actually in your documents folder. So uh, a lot of people lost them if for some reason they needed to reinstall and they hadn't saved them, then they were just wiped completely, which is so annoying. I don't really know how EA are gonna fix that. I honestly can only think of them actually giving them to us in like an SDX for those players who missed out. So it just means that everyone has access to those rewards. But they've actually changed that now. So these rewards are linked to your EA account. If you log in with your EA app, you should always have these rewards for this new one. So Grimophone also exists. Let's go into here though, and then check out her collections and see if that has actually ticked off. What if I put that in her inventory? Does it then class as a collection? Okay, so I just needed to put it in her inventory. Those of you who are doing an all collections challenge, that is good to know. Hopefully, fingers crossed, all of these rewards stay on my account. As you can see, they are not only open in the save that you play this in, they're open in all saves across that is just like the bigger ones. The consumable rewards are just in the save that you've actually played, but that's fine. Cause it's like, hey, have this skill book to help you with the skills that you need. Crin over on Twitter has had a busy few days. Unfortunately can't help everyone like individually over on Twitter, but is an Answers HQ helper. So definitely helping out on the forums. There are a bunch of issues noted already about this. Possible that pausing the game before or after loading screens cause 
causes issues. Mods are also a source of issues. I've seen people talking about how better build and buy mode can actually affect this and like stops tasks from appearing. Obviously, some of these issues could be faced from people who don't even have mods or custom content, but I would always advise like testing it without your mods and custom content first. Like literally back up your Sims folders, then take your mods and custom content out, put them on your desktop, put them on a hard drive, whatever you need to do to like remove them from your game or just like disable them and then do a repair game and then try and like a fresh save. If it's them working, it's likely caused by mods or custom content. There's also a bug where flower planting isn't working. So you'll plant like the Snapdragon and your game just like won't tick it off. I have seen a lot of people talking about that. So there is already a thread set up. I'll leave a couple of these threads down below. Crin has actually written up instructions. So this is kind of the FAQ for a lot of the issues that are being caused by this. You can find a method below on how to successfully finish the first week and avoid these problems. This should work if you have already started and experienced issues. Avoid saving until everything is fully loaded. Don't pause the game before or right after a loading screen. Basically wait for your game to have the like grim pop up, select okay, wait for all of the tasks to load and and then you can go into like traveling, pausing, all of that. I actually did pause right after I loaded into the lot and luckily it still worked for me, but that's not working for everyone. So I wanted to put that out there. And then there's a bunch of other FAQs that will help you understand this because it is definitely confusing when we get one of these things and it seems to be working for some players. And then if it's not working for you, you're like, what the heck have I done wrong? Obviously these things at launch are always gonna have issues. So I do apologize for those of you who are facing issues. I hope that this video can kind of help you with it. I will try and leave like links to Answers HQ threads down below for issues that you might be facing. Overall, I just hope this video was helpful. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. A bunch of you have asked me to do like dedicated videos on this for the next few weeks as this event goes on. So that's what I will be doing. Probably like every Wednesday, I'm gonna upload a video going about these tasks unless something comes up and I can't record it for a Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will speak to you all in my next. Bye. Don't let the Grim Reaper bite.